What is up, you guys? Glitches here coming at you with an all new Dauntless video. But first, if you enjoy quality gaming content, then consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And if you find today's video helpful, then be sure to hit that like button, comment down below. I appreciate all of you guys' feedback. Helps make me a better content creator and helps make videos you guys actually want to watch. That being said, in today's video, I want to do a full rundown of all of the new exotic discovery lore item locations, which unlock the quests that you need to unlock all of the new exotics they're finally bringing back to the game. I'm also going to be showing you the location of the lore item that unlocks the new Time Weaver armor set. So let's jump right into it. The first thing I wanted to go over is, for those of you that may or may not know, in our journal, we do have a collections tab. So if you head over there under journal, go to collections and then under discoveries there is a ton of lore items that can be found in the game now a lot of these are previous ones that were found in ramsgate uh frost escalation and a couple other places i have probably two or three other videos i'll probably link those down in the description below and uh, have some hot links up in the top corner of the screen if you haven't found those yet um but the ones that you don't have will probably show up as question marks the ones we're going to be looking for today are these final seven the Unseen Summoning Stone, the Shrouded Raven, Martyr's Reach, Resikiri Idol, the Charkiln of Feistus, Charkiln of Zareth, and last but not least, the Crystal Method, which is the lore item for the Time Weaver armor set. So let's jump right into the gameplay, and I'll show you guys where to find them all within the hunting grounds. All right, so the first hunting grounds we're going to go to is Cape Fury, and for this one, we're going to be hunting down the Charkiln of Zareth. This one's pretty easy to find. You just want to take that initial little uh, vent and glide over to the center sand waterfall. And once you land, you just got to walk right through the waterfall and the char kiln will be right inside. Interact with it to unlock the lore node. And this will also unlock the starter quest with Wills Borman back in Ramsgate to get the Skull Forge exotic helmet. Next up, you're going to want to head to Hades Reach Hunting Grounds. At this time, we're going to be hunting down another kiln, the Char Kiln of Feistus. Just follow the route that I'm taking here. You're going to want to cut through the first and second middle arena. Just bypass any behemoths that might be roaming around. Come up this hill, past that pool of water on the right. Continue through this second middle arena, and you're going to want to stick to the right-hand side a little bit this time around. And then once you round this uh, little cliff ledge here, you're going to drop down, and to your left, immediate left, you're going to see another aether vent. Just take that aether vent, and that will launch you right to the platform where the kiln of Feistus is located. So interact with that to unlock that lore node, and that will start a quest with Moira back in Ramsgate to complete the quest that unlocks the Molten Edict exotic hammer. Moving on, we're going to head to the Razor Cliff Isle, and this time we're going to be hunting down the Resicuri Idol. This is located in another waterfall similar to the Cape Fury one. So just again, follow the path I'm taking here. You can hop on your glider to go a little bit quicker. And you just want to glide all the way down to the back right of the map and kind of uh, hang to the left along the edge of these cliffs here. And when you get to the bottom, you're going to see the waterfall. Just walk right through it like we did the first time and you'll find the idol sitting on a rock. Interact with that to unlock it, and that will start a quest with the Scarred Master back in Ramsgate to eventually unlock the Prismatic Grace exotic helmet. Next up, we're headed to the Paradox Breaks. This is the new Radiant hunting grounds where you fight the Chronivore. We actually have two lore nodes we're going to go for this time around. The first one is the Crystal Method. This one is the one that unlocks the Time Weave armor set. Now, unlike the other lore nodes, there isn't an actual quest you have to do after uh, finding this lore node. This just automatically unlocks the set at the armor smith. You just have to go and craft it. I believe it takes about uh, 1,000 Aether Dust to get all four parts, as well as a few other crafting materials. 
uh, that you'll just have to hunt down, but you don't actually have to do a physical quest for it. But uh, yeah, once you hit the temple, you're going to want to run up these stairs. And then just before entering the arena where you fight Chronovore, you're going to want to hang a left right by this pillar. And you'll find the Crystal Method lore node buried in the sand. Interact with that and you'll see the uh, Time Weave armor show up in purple there like you found it. And then again, you just have to go back to Moira and craft that once you get the proper materials. But now right after this... We're going to be getting a second lore node, and this is going to be on the back side of the island through the arena where you fight the Chronovore. And the lore node we're going for this time is called the Martyr's Reach. So again, just follow my path. You can actually glide from that top step all the way over to this back island if you do it properly. And then once you reach this back platform, you'll see the Martyr's Reach lore node right to your left. Interact with that, and that will unlock a quest with Zayla the Far Slayer back in Ramsgate to eventually unlock the tried and true God Hand Exotic Warpike. Last but not least, let's head to the Twilight Sanctuary. There's another two lore nodes we're going to find in here. The first one is the Unseen Summoning Stone. And this one is going to be located in the back little compartment of the cave that you can get to on the bottom level of the island. So just head through that first left arena and uh, run into the cave. And then from here, you're pretty much just going to want to keep taking a right-hand turn every chance you can. So right at this first intersection. And then another right at this second intersection. And right back here is the little alcove where you'll find the Unseen Summoning Stone. So interact with that to unlock it. And this will eventually start a quest with Granny back in Ramsgate to ultimately unlock the Hunger Exotic Sword. Now from here, you're going to want to immediately turn around because there's one more last final lore node in here that we can hunt down and that is the Shrouded Raven. Uh, this one can be a little tricky if you don't know where to look for it, but uh, again, just follow the route I'm taking. You're going to want to head out the back entrance of the cave this time around and wrap all the way around back to the second level of the island. Let's just keep running up the walkway here, take this vent to get a little more distance. And then you're going to want to head over to this next vent right in front of you on this little cliff ledge here. And now from here, you're going to want to walk around the back side of this cliff and start walking up. There's actually another uh, older lore item that you can get at this little blue crystal area here. So feel free to snag that if you haven't already. But to get the Shrouded Raven, you're going to want to run up to the ram at the top of the cliff and then kind of aim yourself at that little middle island here where you can see all the uh, Wrathworts growing. Glide over to that. And right at the top is where you'll find the Shrouded Raven lore item sitting on top of a rock. Interact with that and that will ultimately unlock a quest with Lady Luck to unlock the Tragic Echo Exotic Helmet. And that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Later. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Also, if you're looking to join a killer community of like-minded gamers, then be sure to click the link in the description and join the Glitch Gang Discord server. We continue to grow every day, and it's filled with all your favorite game discussion channels, as well as several LFG channels to help you find that perfect group for your next hunt or raid. Lastly, if you're new to the channel and want to keep up to date with all my future content, then consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Hope you all had a great day, and I will catch you on the next one.